Hello, welcome to Great Episodes in Gibbs History, presented by Gibbs Farm, a program of Ramsey County Historical Society. My name is Sammy, and today I'll be sharing the childhood memories of Frank Gibbs, son of Jane and Heman Gibbs. Spoiler alert, even though Frank described himself as a troublemaker, he grew up to be very responsible. He was a county commissioner, a respected horticultural expert, and a father but you won't see any of that here today. The day was December 14th, 1862, when the Gibbs family welcomed their fourth child and second son into the world, Frank Henry Gibbs. All the siblings were thrilled at the new addition. Unfortunately, when Frank was five years old, his older brother, Willie, would pass away of complications due to smoke inhalation after a prairie fire. This left Frank as the only surviving son with two older sisters and one younger sister. At this time, the Gibbs had moved out of their claim shanty and into the log cabin that would eventually be part of the farmhouse that's still standing today. In this one room house, Frank remembers a half story loft upstairs over the main living space. In a 1946 interview, Frank recalls the roof being made of shaved cedar shingles. Shaved cedar shingle. Sa Shaved cedar shingle. Shaved cedar shingle. Well, that's a tongue twister. With the only heat coming from the stove below, the only warm place was right next to the stovepipe. Even then, it would still be very cold in the winter. Frank remembers shaking snow off his quilts in the morning after particularly snowy nights. I prefer the snow to be outside of my house. Thank you very much. Later, Frank graduated to a trundle bed on the ground floor, and after five or six years, had his own bedroom in the brand new second story. Frank, of course, had chores to do on the farm. These included assisting in making soap out of ashes and lye, as well as candles made from beef tallow. On the farm, he assisted his father, Heman, in binding the grain. Frank started his entrepreneurial career at a young age. He would saw ice for the neighbors, usually the Hoyts and the Hendricksons, the ice first needed to be cut from Lake Como in the winter. He proudly remembered earning five cents for each cake of ice, remarking that it was good pay in those days. Things have changed a little. Perhaps one of the more unique events that Frank recalls involves an unusual event at a neighborhood gathering. According to the 1946 interview, there was a man whose leg had been badly injured for some time and needed to be amputated at a neighborhood gathering. In Frank's words, I came in just in time to see it amputated. Not a very pleasant sight. At a neighborhood gathering? I would call that an understatement, Frank. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you won't miss future installments of great episodes and Gibbs history.